You, 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 you. Yo, new breed. What up, y'all? We're going to talk about the wingspan. The wingspan came in uh, a few days ago. Uh, I did a video of the unboxing. It was crappy, so I just went live and talked about it for a little bit. Uh, y'all can go back and check out the live. Uh, it's my last live stream. Well, before tomorrow, the 20... What? It's tomorrow. What is tomorrow? The 7th. September 7th. So, this, the stream before that one. It's a short stream. I think it was about 30, 45 minutes. Uh, I talk about the, the wingspan and that. But I want to talk about it again here and talk about some of the specs and everything so people can find the video a little bit easier. So... This is the New Breed EDC Wingspan, my second uh, design under my brand. And the first one was the Clydesdale. I have it right here if y'all are not familiar with that. So New Breed EDC Clydesdale. And then I've had some other models come out since, uh, collaboration designs. This is the Kaiser Gavel, New Breed EDC Club, and the KB Knives Hydro. Uh, this is the sub-brand of Kubi. So I've uh, had those uh, designs come out and then this is my uh, second design under my brand. So, new breed EDC wingspan, uh, front flipper, free, uh, finger slot, uh, titanium on uh, the frame and the hardware. We got uh, belt satin on this version with the silver twill carbon fiber, satin hardware, satin back spacer, uh, twill carbon fiber inlays, uh, silver twill carbon fiber inlays. And uh, this is D2 on the prototypes and it is a flat grind for some reason. Uh, this is the second time I've asked for a hollow on my prototype. I haven't gotten a flat, so I don't know. That might just be something Kubi does. But uh, the pro uh, production version will be S35VN steel and uh, hollow on the blade. So, yes. <laughs> so with this, um, the uh, the inlay, this one, when I unboxed it, this inlay was popped out. Which one was it? The back one? So that was unfortunate. It was uh, already in the bag just like that, just, just chilling in the bag. <laughs> Uh, but I, I super glued it back in. You can see that right there. I was trying to clean it up right now. I actually dropped it when I started the video. I was like, oh no! So it popped out again. Uh, when I pulled it out of the bag and found it eventually, I flicked it and it flew out from the frame. And I was like, oh, there it is. So I just popped it back in, but well, I dropped it again and it popped out. So I, luckily I found it right there and just glued it in. Uh, some super glue for now. So uh, I'm going to see how this holds up. Uh, the other ones came just fine. So I'm going to see how they hold up and ask people who uh, want to pass them around to pocket them as often as they can and see how they hold up just with, you know, normal carry like that. And then if they pop out, I'm pretty sure people can super glue them, but, you know, you may lose it or something like that. And, you know, I like the look of it, so it's not really something I want to lose. Um, so I don't want to be like, oh, you can just super glue it. I don't want to be like that. But, I mean, if you find it, I guess you can. I mean, I'm sure I would if I had a knife like that and I liked it enough to grab it. And then, you know, the inlay popped out and I found it. I'm sure I would glue it back in. But... Uh, what I plan on doing is I'm going to order a, a set of these, maybe about, I don't know, 20, 30 sets of clips. So that way I can have uh, some spares, maybe 15 and 15. And uh, so that way if somebody drops it, I can have some replacements, uh, at least a few, you know. And uh, so, yeah, so blade steel, uh, it is a 7.84 uh, overall, I'm sorry, blade steel is S35VN and hollow grind is what it'll be. Uh, but protos are D2 and flat grind, unfortunately. Uh, 7.84 inches overall. Uh, the cutting edge, I have it right here, is uh, 3.16 cutting edge, uh, 3.51 inches from blade uh, tip to frame. Uh, the handle is 4.39, and with the choil is 4.7 inches. So what else do I have here? Just some things I want to touch on. Uh, the handle thickness is 4.6 inches. Uh, I'm sorry, not 4.6, uh, 0.46 inches. Whoa, man, that's a thick handle. I don't know. I don't know if I want to take that thickness. <laughs> uh, let me fix that real quick. Hold on, guys. I want to fix this. This is uh, something, some info that I plan on sending out to uh, the reviewers. Uh, the first three are going to go uh, out to, I already have that planned out. And then, and then I have some people that I have in mind after that, that I kind of want to pass them after two from there. Uh, it's going to start with Neves Knives, uh, Lefty EDC, and uh, G-Ball Vision. So y'all keep an eye out for those. Uh, uh, Neves Knives will be getting the, the blue uh, with, the, with the acid wash. And Lefty, or is it Acid Stone Wash, I guess? And uh, Lefty will be getting the the satin, the belt satin. And G-Ball will be getting the belt satin as well. So uh, G-Ball is going to be getting this inlay one. I got to tell him about that. Hey, man, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> I'm going to try to clean that up as best I can a little bit more. So uh, some other things that I want to touch on is uh, some changes that I already want to make. 
Uh, the changes will be on the frame lock, uh, frame side. I do want to make this, uh, this side will remain the same, but on the lock side, I do want to make this an inlay instead of an overlay because when open, uh, this can be a little a little sharp. You know, I don't like that. So with it being an inlay, we can have the, the lock bar, uh, some of that, you know, poking out here. So that way it's you can rest your hand on there rather than the inlay. So that is one thing that I want to change. So it'll just, it'll. I'm, I'm going to redesign it and send a, 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 a different look to Kubi and have them uh, adjust that for me. So it'll essentially just be this part shrunk in just like an outline of the, the material around that. So hopefully they can do that because that would be awesome. But this side will remain the same, but that is something that I want to change. You know, I'm all about ergonomics with my designs, the feel in hand, the grip. And this isn't going to be a hard to use knife anyway. You can see it's a little more elegant, but you know, you're supposed to be able to use a knife regardless. You know what I mean? So I want it to feel good in hand. Uh, the other thing I want to do is I'm going to ask them if they can strengthen the detent just a touch. Uh, the more I've carried these, the, the happier I am. They break in a little bit more. They feel a little bit better. And you do have to have, you know, some, uh, you know, a little bit lighter, but I don't want it to be terribly light, but you do need a little bit lighter for the front flipper to function, uh, you know, function well. You don't want it to be super hard, uh, but you don't want it to be super light so it just flops out or it sounds awful or anything like that. Uh, but it's, like I said, they've grown on me the more I've carried them and the more I flicked them, I'm like, okay, they're good. It's just, I was expecting the Clydesdale when I flicked it out, you know, the Clydesdale is just a different thwack, you know what I mean? It's just, whew, behave, go sit over there. <laughs> so that is something that I want to change if they can, just a, just a touch, just a little bit stronger. Uh, the other thing I want to change is I want to extend the, I'm thinking, I'm considering, I'll see how the reviews go, but I'm considering of extending, I'm considering extending the finger slot. Uh, I have it at 1.3 inches right now. I know that's fairly long, but I want to kind of extend it a little bit more to 1.425 inches, just a touch more. I want it to be able to be, uh, you know, to be able to grab it just a little bit farther down right there. I don't know. I don't know why I just do. And I might widen it. So I might make it a little bit taller. Uh, it might, it's a 2.5 inch, uh, 2.5 millimeters right now. I might widen it to 3.65 or all the way to the grind. Uh, I don't think I want to do all the way to the grind because it's a little bit, you know, bigger of a slot than I want. But I think I do want to widen it if, even if I don't extend it. I think I do want to widen it because I want to be able to, people to be able to get in there a little bit easier. And it, it's fine, but, you know, I just, you know, you want that ease. You want that ease of function. And right now it's fine, but I want it better. <laughs> So uh, I think that might be it on the changes. Uh, did I miss anything else? I'm not sure. I think uh, I think that's it. I just want to do a quick update on this. Like I said, I didn't do a video on my unboxing, and I just I, the video was crappy. I just didn't like it. I wasn't comfortable with it, so I was like, I'm just gonna go live and talk about it. So I went live and it was cool. I appreciate y'all coming through. They all that hung out. I know people have watched it since. Thanks so much. I hope y'all dig the design. I hope y'all like it a lot, and I hope y'all willing to grab it. You know, but. So these will be the uh, two versions. I'm not sure if I'm going to add another version. Uh, if there's one that is consistently like that I can see across the board people are asking for, I might consider it. But for the time being, these are the ones. I don't want to make it too confusing with Kubi. Uh, there was some confusion throughout this process for some reason. The Kleiser went a lot smoother. Uh, I've heard from a couple other people, too, that their process has been a little more... Uh, the communi communication has been a little different for these uh, their past uh, OEM projects. So I might just keep it like this just for now, and let's get through this one. Let's come out unscathed. You know, I've already hit some snags. The material was different when I ordered these. I asked for something before I started the order. They said they had it. They showed me them. They were like, they're done, and they're <laughs> wrong material. I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> uh, I just asked. I was like, what material is on there? It looks different. They told me what it was, and I said, oh, uh, what happened with the silver tool and the shred carbon fiber? They said, oh, this was uh, shred, but it finished different. I was like, oh, okay. So I asked for marble. They couldn't find marble. They showed me some other options. I was like, nah, can we just go back to the original? So then we had a rough issue there. And then this silver twill, this is what they said that in the beginning. They were like, yeah, we still have it after we had the issue. Had another conversation. And then the, they were still trying to offer some different stuff for both. And then eventually they're like, okay, we ordered the silver twill. I sent some pictures. I sent my CAD pictures. I sent the picture they sent me before. It was a whole thing. So we got it straightened out for the most part. Uh, I got something that I saw that they sent originally that I was like, that looks fine. We'll do that. I've come to terms with it. I like it. This one came out just like I wanted. This one, I absolutely love the look of this. And this one has grown on me quite a bit. So, uh, yeah. So that's how that process one went. 
Another thing I want to talk about is the pre-order. Let's uh, talk about that really quick. So the pre-order will be, uh, it's going to open on September 15th. Uh, I'm sorry, September 16th, excuse me, September 16th on a Monday. Uh, it'll be 145 for the pre-order and uh, it'll open, it'll remain open until November. So uh, I, I do plan on closing it. If I do hit a certain number, I, I want to keep myself okay for the QC process. So if I hit my number that I want, if I hit my mark, I will stop it before November. And uh, it, if it, you know, if it keeps going a little bit more, I just, I want to make sure that I don't overwhelm myself for QC. So I want to give myself, you know, some, some breathing room so I can get those done, get those out to people with a pre-order. And then I'll reopen the pre, uh, the orders, uh, I'll reopen for orders. And the price will just go up for five bucks because what I'm doing is I'm trying to keep it better for myself trying to keep it you know the process a little smoother for myself so that way i'm not you know people aren't waiting forever and uh, it does take a little while to get through the qc you want to do things right so it takes about a week uh like three three days to a week you can get a certain amount done and uh so what i want to do is get through the ones that i need as quickly as possible and get those out and then like maybe a week or, or a week and a half open the orders again and then have those go for 150 so i'm keeping it within five dollars just because part of it is for me part of it is for y'all uh like I said, I just want to help myself, but I also want to help you all if they get in on it early. Uh, I do kind of uh, want to do something for the people that are getting on the pre-orders too. Uh, have maybe a couple of these go um, like as a little uh, sweepstake thing or whatever. I don't know, something like that. And we'll see how that goes. I know things have been kind of weird with those lately. I've heard some talks about um, people getting in trouble or something like that. So I don't know. I don't want to do anything like that. But So that's how I plan on doing the pre-order. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I hope you all dig them. And just keep an eye out for them. Uh, it, it's going to be, uh, I plan on getting Neves Knives. Uh, I mean, it is going to be Neves Knives, Left EDC, G Ball. They're all on board. Uh, Duty's Dagger. I haven't talked to him directly yet, but uh, I'm pretty sure he'll be on board. I talked to him. I did talk to him before I got it. And he was down. Rochambeau, he's down. Our Barbarian Brawn, he's going to take a look at it. Uh, I talked to Captain Ricky at Blade Show Atlanta. He was down. And I talked to him a little bit after that. He was down. But I haven't heard back, uh, back since I posted about this, but I didn't ask, ask him directly. I just tagged him in the post. Uh, love them knives. He said he's busy, but he's down somewhere down the line. Beast Blades, possibly. Big Red EDC. There are some names. There are some people. Uh, Mad as Faction, says Stevie. Uh, all possible names. Uh, and if they're not busy, I'm sure they'll be down to check it out. And uh, I'm excited. So y'all keep an eye out for them. I hope y'all dig them. I, 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 like I said, I, when I opened the box, I was like, ah, it's just I was expecting the Kaizo, expecting that crazy blade, but... Uh, crazy action, but that blade is just, you know, it's heavier on the Clydesdale. And also, uh, one thing that I want to say is the stop pin is different. It is designed different. This is uh, an internal, so it's actually on the blade. And this is an external. It is in the frame. So I'm sure that plays a part uh, in, you know, how the sound is and how the action can, uh, the way it thwacks, you know what I mean? So anyway, a lot of stuff I'm cramming in this video. I, like I said, I hope y'all dig the design. I put a lot of effort into this and uh, the wingspan looked a bit different before, and I made some changes and stepped it up because I wanted it to stand out. You know, I wanted it to, I wanted to separate. Uh, as I was working on my CAD work and my design as I developed, I was like, I think I can do better on these. So I actually redesigned these a, a little bit, and I'm happy with them, y'all. I really am. And uh, we got through it with the effort, uh, with the process with Kubi, and we'll, we'll do it again if the process, uh, the pre-orders go well and get these get these ready to go so like i said uh the i don't know i don't know if i said that uh four to five months for uh after pre-order uh after the pre-order stops four to five months and that is just for me i'm extending it so that way i don't have y'all waiting so they may get here sooner after you know for production so four to five months for production hopefully sooner and it, it did kind of go it went a lot quicker last one uh, last time with the clydesdale so that was good and we, you know hopefully we'll have that again and uh, like I said, the four to five months is just for me, so that way I don't look like a dick when I'm like, hey, you know, we're gonna have it in three months, and then you're all are waiting, you know, twiddling your fingers or something like that. So uh, that's that's what I, I that's how I want to do it. Uh, that's what that's why I have to phrase it the way I do. And uh, it's not to be, you know, be like, oh man, why am I gonna put money for this? And you know, then you're waiting forever. And hopefully my price is affordable. Hopefully y'all don't think that way. And if you do, I understand. You know, it's just uh, I understand that some people have. You know that money to be tied up kind of sucks and uh but if you're looking for something that's all, looking forward to something that's awesome and you really dig it then you know i'd get in on it <laughs> but you know that, that's it guys i really appreciate your time uh like i said i hope you dig them i keep saying like i said but like i said i hope y'all dig them the new really edc wingspan and y'all take care I hope y'all doing great things I hope you're enjoying your family your friends enjoying yourselves 
keep the pockets back, eat some salt, eat some awesome snacks. I'll check y'all later. Eat some awesome sauce? Maybe. Anyway, gotta hit that stop. Peace. Gotta hit that stop.